and you never know what video is gonna blow up. And obviously you're seeing that. That's why the power of getting a good framework, getting the right strategies, getting the right things in place. You gotta just press record. Uh, she is a free travel agent. And so we have a channel uh, for her business. That's What's her it primary. Called? It's called uh, youtube.com slash ginger MMT. So we use it uh, as our primary marketing tool. So how do you make money if she's a free travel agent? Then tell me about the <laughs> business model. Her primary areas of expertise are Disney destinations, uh, universal parks and resorts, sandals, uh, all, all inclusives and cruises. That's called DTA, DisneyTravelAgents.com. They can access and go directly in. Uh, and all her, all her help is free. She helps with dining reservations, everything like that. And so you pay Disney and then Disney just gives her the commission that they had already built into their price. So you're paying for her help, whether you use her or not. Might as well get what you're paying for, you know? And so uh, that's why it really is no extra charge to use her services. And so we use it as a prime, the YouTube channel is the primary mm -hmm. marketing tool. But any any advice you can give, any anything that you see that could be improved, I'm all ears because you're the expert. Awesome. Yeah, I love it. Stop. So a couple of thoughts. So I saw this style of video. I, I'm not a huge fan of the thumbnails of these brackets okay. just because they kind of, they're busy. They're very niche. I see they're doing like, all right. I think I always go back to success leaves clues. I know that not as much time has passed since some of these older videos, but none of those brackets are anywhere near giving you the most views. If they accomplish a purpose, I would like to see the brackets thumbnails change a little bit. Okay. I think these full tours, clearly, this one's crushed. Hi, everybody. It's Ginger with Marvelous Mouse Travels. And today we're going to continue this our is, tour of Disney's Value Resort. This is phenomenal. Of course, people want to see this. They want to dream with you. They want to make their plan. Does she give a good call to action to her services then? She does. I, you know, it's interesting that you mentioned that. So that video is by far our most popular video. She started really emphasizing a call to action about a few months after we released this video, because that's when we found VRA. Yes. And, um, and so then we learned, okay, so we need to really be adding in a call of action at the end. And, and any of her videos, basically from like two months after this and on, it has it in there. Man, that's a, I mean, that's a good lesson too. And of course, I'm you know super grateful you're part of the VRA community, but it just goes, we call it kind of like the Oprah moment and you're going to have more Oprah moments, but it'd be this idea that like, if you were going to mm -hmm. write a book back in the day when Oprah had her main show and you got a chance for her to come on and be in like Oprah's book club and you're like, all right, so tell me about like your, your, you know, your new book. And you're like, well, it's on my computer. I don't actually have it in my hands. Oh, can anybody go to the website and sign up for the e well, the website's not really done, Oprah, but like, and you'd get this moment, but you would, you'd miss it. You know what I mean? Like, and you never know what video is going to blow up. And obviously you're seeing that, but like thinking that's why the power of getting a good framework, getting the right strategies, getting the right things in place. And I think the lesson to me is also work on recreate, recreating some of your greatest hits. I mean, this is a two-year-old full tour. Uh, I would definitely recreate uh, head back down. And where are you guys based? I mean, so do you have to fly out each time to go to the park then? You either go to the coast or what? We don't. Uh, we're about, uh, it's a nine hour drive. And so a lot of times we'll wake up early in the morning, get on the road and get down there by like noon or one o'clock, something like that. Okay, or great. So, so yeah, I mean, I would, I would make a plan to just go dominate and, you know, literally as we're strategizing together, if I'm you, I'm going to do a couple of things. One, I'm going to do a reopening series. Reopening is hot right now because it's like, what are the reopening things, the reopening tips? You may not even have to go there to do it. You may be able to pull some footage and some photos offline, some stuff from the, the website. Number two, I like to batch produce stuff. I know you know that from being a VRA. So I like to never make just one video. I like to think about how I can make like 25. So I would literally think about maybe the full tour video. And if possible, of course, um, you know, time and whatnot. But if I could get a hotel for a couple nights and really get three months of content, you know, going. And when I'm also then doing the Disney full art animation resort, like a 15 minutes, I definitely call to action at the end, but I would do it throughout. It doesn't have to be intense, but she is letting you know that it's marvelous mounts travels right up front. You know, the type, the type of things I'd be doing is why you're at a certain point in the tour. I might say, you know, one of the things that I help people with is really figuring out the best day plan for them. You know, if you want more information about that, check out the link in the description and you can, you know, fill out a quick survey. But the thing is, because sometimes what happens with, and so like throughout the video, not every minute on 15 minutes, but I definitely do at least like three or four. 
where it's super relevant because there's no doubt about it. Even this is what's called seeding. Before you get to the call to action at the end, you're also just seeding. You're planting seeds along the way that are some of the mindsets and things that the viewer would need to know to maybe even work with Ginger. One of the myths might be, oh, if I work with Ginger, it's going to cost me more. You know, what What I love about at, you're just, you're on a thing with like Captain Hook and you're like, you know, and what I love about working with people is I'm able to help people make their Disney experience twice as good. And it doesn't even cost them any more money. Like it's really cool. And sometimes you might even say that stuff without a call to action because the whole thing is an experience where someone is getting to know Ginger. So then once it happens at the end, they're even more like ready. That's the power of YouTube is you have a chance to get to know, like, and trust somebody before like, Hey, do you want a travel agent? So those are a couple ideas. And you, I would you're definitely... exactly right because she's actually had people who message her and say, I know this is the first time I'm talking to you, but I actually feel like I already know you because I've watched so many of your videos. So that's cool that you said that. <laughs> that's super cool. So I think that, um, I mean, those are some really good ideas that she could get started with. The channel's amazing. You guys are doing really good. But again, and I know we've been on lockdown and stuff's been crazy. All of your best performing videos don't seem to be as much as like, again, the bracket. I just had, this is my gut thing is I'm just, not a huge fan of the the brackets. Um, is this part of Disney? These Biltmore Estates is that like on the property or next to it or something? It's not. It's actually um, it, she can also book that destination. It's in North Carolina. We just went over there for a couple of days and we just did a, a vlog like tour of the Biltmore Estate, that kind of thing. And so, I mean, yeah, you can you can divert from things. If I'm going from dabbling to dominating, I see you guys are serious about this, but I'm thinking. I'm planting my flag. Disney. I mean, is it Sandals, Cruises, Universal, or Disney? Did you did you break brand there, Evan? Did you break the brand? Uh, it's uh, all four. She can book all four destinations. Primarily, but is yeah. one of those four? It's not. No, that, that's uh, true. That's that's a good point. That's I mean, you point. can do it, but that's <laughs> where like, and there's a certain. I mean, again, I think you could experiment. These are great. Leave them up. Let them do their thing. But man, it's the Disney stuff. I could see the Universal stuff. That makes sense to me maybe Disney cruise for sure. And I'm just thinking about what's my annual schedule. So I'm headed to Disney for three, four, five days to get a ton of videos in the can. I'm also right. making a list of videos that I don't actually have to be in Disney, but I'm pulling in B-roll, fair use content, some footage from you know Disney's announcement about what reopening is. You, know, you can react to videos. You could do a video like this in StreamYard and react to playing Disney's. I was just playing her video with audio, different things like that that keep building along the same promise. Um, and then of course you maybe choose what's most lucrative. Um, of course the passion is Disney, but I mean, is built more as, is it all the same in terms of her commission? It, it's definitely not as high as Disney and Universal. You're, you're, you're hitting so the even that. Right. I mean, that's yeah. different ways of making. It. So from this conversation, do you feel like you have some stuff to work with to kind of build out a battle plan for, Absolutely. for the next couple months to just keep growing? Absolutely, yes. This video is brought to you by YTImpact.com, a five-day live and highly interactive challenge where you will learn how to start and grow a YouTube channel that helps people and makes money. You'll get the newest strategies and learn exactly what's working on YouTube right now. Register today at YTImpact.com.